Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Gold of War. Last time we uh, finished our tour of the Lake of Nine, and I told you guys since we uh, found the uh, translation cipher for the Muspelheim realm we would be heading over there but before we do that i checked out the treasure maps we still had lying around and there's actually two of them well both of them i can actually figure out based on the image so the first one we know is up in the mountain where the smoke was but the other one is actually right here i must have missed it somehow because uh, if we check out the treasure map itself we clearly see the drawing of the giant, well, the, the, the giant troll that was, uh, well, over here where the last spirit was that we uh, helped out. So, must have missed where the treasure is actually at. And it seems to be right near his belly, if I understand the map correctly. So, if we just dock here and just take a look around it's not between his legs so it should be aha uh -huh. there it is so that's good because there's a lot of very interesting loot in these treasure chests uh, as well as an oblivion stone a stone that hungers for energy and absorbs it on contact coveted and hoarded by dwarves used to upgrade pommels with life draining damage effects Interesting. Then we also got uh, 9,000 hex silver, 5 salts, Fartalheim steel, and an inlaid crest of defiance. So, with that done, I'm gonna head towards the mountain now proper. I still can't fast travel to there for some reason, so I'm gonna try and get there manually. So, see you guys in a second. So, it took me about 5 minutes to get back here, so I do hope I'm correct at, uh, well, at the point of there being treasured over here because otherwise this journey would have been a bit wasted but yeah it, it seems like we're on the right track here right uh there's also a treasure chest over there that we can now take care of so i do wonder how we even get there might have to look around for an alternative way of walking over there seems to be a path down so <coughs> So, all the way up here, we're inside of the mouth, but I think it's supposed to be around here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. So that is... Is that a frozen flame? No, Glacial Catalyst, a shard from one of Hell's glaciers. It can be used to upgrade the Charm of Infinite Storm. I don't think I have the Charm of Infinite Storm. Eye of Fury reduces the rage cost of using attacks while in Spartan Rage by 15%. A legendary enchantment. Ooh, and two solid Svartalfheim steel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want that. So, let's check that out. So, the least interesting enchantment I have right now is the symbol of truth. So, three strength and three runic. So, if I replace that with... Eye of Fury, I got 5 Runic and 5 cooldown and reducing my Rage cost per attack by 15%, which is really, really good. Alright, first Legendary Enchantment in the bag. Now, I think there's a way, yeah, we can drop down here as well, because I never checked this out. Seems to be another item down there. There's a chest that we freed. There we go. This is a bit more solid Sfart. Oh, I'm steel, okay. I think we'll be able to uh, perform another upgrade as well. And then I'm hoping, yeah, okay, we can slide down all the way. Because, yeah, I need to head back down and I think I'll be able to use the elevator this time. So this should only take a few minutes. Okay, I can upgrade my belt again because I have just enough ancient rubble. And yeah, let's just do that. Fine piece of work. There we go. And I think I'm gonna just put that... For, yeah, an inlaid crest of the finds, which gives me a bit of cooldown, but also a high perk activation chance to grant protective barrier on a parry, which might be handy in a pinch. If I can pull off a parry, I might get the, well, a barrier that will protect me from any damage. So, continuing on, and let's head back to the center of the Lake of Nine. Because, as promised, we're still not going to the Witch we're uh, heading towards the center of the lake where we'll use the uh, Bifrost to head towards Muspelheim. I think, um, yeah, Mimir's head on my, uh, well, waist there 
is uh, starting to decay a lot now because it's been a while since we chopped off his head and that doesn't strike me as something uh, that's very healthy for a, yeah, a corpse's head to be just flapping in the wind constantly. So, where is Muspelheim? Just guessing I'm gonna be able to check that out on the tree itself. Let's check that out. There we go. Now. Aha, there we go. There's the extra symbol for Muspelheim. Which will allow us access. Ah, it's over there, of course, the red one. So the Realm of Fire, it was called by... Uh, I think it was... No, oh, 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 that was Muspelheim. I think it was the game itself that told us that the Realm of Fire is available. So travel to Realm. Don't know if we're gonna be significantly underleveled for this or not, but I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen. Uh, was, was that it? Usually there's a very fancy animation for this, but oh yeah, there is. Just gonna stand out of the way because there's, yeah, there's a giant laser beam going into the crystal. And it is connecting to something else, it looks like. Oh, this doesn't look good. This feels like we're heading to hell. Like literal hell, not the, the goddess's name, hell. Okay, let's go check that out. Bright red evil door, opening up. And of course, oh, oh, it's actually pretty bright. Anything new? Ooh, talk option. Almost like the heat rock. Heat's damn useful in my line of work. Even make space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prodding from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pools are cinch. As long as you don't end up cooked. Hmm. So portals are quicker somehow? Um... I do want to check that out. What, what does that actually mean? What does that actually mean? So if I just activate this... Because he says that the heat makes even space bend more easily. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's not spend any time in that. That looks really, really evil. Um, I was thinking whether he would have new stock. But my gear is pretty nice right now. So I don't think I'll change that. So let's head, uh, head in here. The wow. realm of fire. It's hot here. And suddenly Wait. it turned dark. Is that snow? No. Ash. It only falls like that for great fires. Well, this is supposed to be the greatest fire of all, isn't it? Muspelheim. The ancient realm of flame. Did your mother speak of it? Not a whole lot. I mean, there's not many stories that take place in fire. Except among the fire giants, I guess. The but fire I don't think giants? I others much. And no one's seen one in forever. Ah, oh, this doesn't look like a happy place now, does it? There are items here as well, though. They all use still. They, they still use hack silver. And there's molten lava everywhere. Okay, so that statue is still the same, but oof. this does not look like an inviting place, and a lot of the areas are locked off. And I'm suddenly really glad that I used the uh, the enchantment that protects me from fire 20% better. There's not much here, to be honest. Usually in the other realms we found a few uh, items already to give us a bit of a clue what's going on here. And it's dark. It's really, really dark sometimes. And it's Muspelheim, not Muspelheim. I do apologize for the mispronunciation. Although that happens constantly with me. Okay then, very, very dry environment. Not really anything to see here. Sorry for the wild camera pants. I'm just trying to look behind every nook and cranny here. Okay, looks like things are opening up. And heating up, maybe. Okay. And there's Brock again. Muspelheim. I pronounced it correctly now. Anything else, Brock? No, it doesn't seem like it. And there's another portal thingy. Ooh, and this might explain a bit. Here, boy. Aha, story time. This one's called Surter. Must be a fire giant. 
makes a flaming sword. Okay. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? That's a constant in these stories. An ancient fire giant of Muspelheim, he forged a sword of fire and fought, or will fight, Thor and Odin. So yeah, it's always never clear whether the last panel is supposed to have happened already or will happen. Yeah, there's definitely active volcanoes here, but moving further. Doesn't seem like Brock doesn't, doesn't want us to do anything, which is weird. I would expect a dwarf and blacksmith to give us a bit of a side quest here. So, ooh, gold. Listen, I hear a voice. Another elf? I don't think so. It's coming from up there. This does not look safe with a child on your back, Kratos. Seriously? Okay. Um, could we go? Oh, we could go higher. Wait. Wait. Is that just to go? No. No, no, no. There is something here. I knew there was something here. Going down. And that's... Yeah, that's just a volcano. But this... Is something we can work with. There we go. Smoldering ember times 8. And a crest of flame times 5. Okay then. Even more new items. It doesn't seem interesting enough to give me a prompt like it does with the legendary materials. So... I don't really know what I will be using that for, but maybe we get some clues. The voice! It's just around this corner. Is that the fire sword we saw in oh. the story? It's a great big sword. It wants to know if we're ready to train. Say what now? There that's that's a pillar of one of those ogre troll thingies, right? Okay, this seems like yeah, a big arena and there's not really an option to move further, so... And apparently the sword talks, so yeah, okay. We're ready. Complete the trials to unlock the next arena. Press X to accept the challenge, press circle to reject the call, press, t press triangle to warm up. Uh, I'm gonna accept, I suppose. Kill the enemies before time runs out. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, slack. One, two, three. I mean, have a time in boots, okay? And uh, slack. One, two, three, and slack. And then we have the last one. And there we go. Oh, 12 enemies remaining. This might be a problem. There we go. Ah, I fought that kind of. And a smack. There we go. And there we go. Okay, eight enemies remaining. And smack. And then let's use him as a battering ram against the next one. That's taken care of. Okay, 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 stop, stop, stop. Okay, fine, six enemies remaining. There we go. And then this one. And then that one. Let's 
two enemies remaining. I have 40 seconds remaining. And there we go. And then this one. Yeah, we got this. Okay. Crazy. And look, there's loot. There is. There is. Oh, chest. Okay, that was actually pretty close towards the timer there. Okay, what do we got? What do we get? What do we get? Come on. Smoldering Amber times 8 and a bit of hack silver. Okay. Um, yeah. Hmm. I feel like if that was close, then the next one is gonna be worse. But... We wanna give it a try. It says there's another level to this challenge. Okay. Harder than before. Ooh, let's accept the challenge. Be ready, boy. We will. Kill enemies in quick succession. There's incoming. And boom. Oh wow, what the hell? Oh, so wait, 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 wait. So they resurrect because, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, okay, okay. So enemies will resurrect if all the enemies are still alive. So it's not as much about killing them quickly, it's killing them at the same time. So let's try this again. Trial one hard. Be ready, boy. And it's said that we're multiple stages to death. This so clear the wave to advance. First one we have three enemies with one with one heavy draw. So I think we should focus on the heavy one then. There we go. Oh wow, yeah, didn't see that one coming. So that one is damaged a bit, now let's move over to this one. And smack. So I think he's dead. Yeah. Smack, 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 smack. And that. Oh, the, the steel the one came back alive. And there we go. Wave complete, stay focused. So one ogre and a revenant. Oh, wow, okay. So I think I can kick the revenant off. Atreus on top of the ogre. So drop the projectiles of the revenant. Yeah, okay. Gonna have to retry this for a little bit. Yeah. Keeping her busy. Okay, so I think I might be able to take out the Revenant with the Ogre. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, 
good. Kill him, kill him. Yes, there we go. And down. Come on, kill him. He's dead. He's supposed to be dead. Oh, we've completed, but keep focused. Okay, what's next? Castle wolves? Oh, for fuck's sake. What else? So, four enemies. Wolves and tassel wolves. So important here is that I don't get overwhelmed. Yeah, fuck! Okay, those little critters are gonna be the death of me. Yeah, roll back in the face. No, 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 where's the revenant? There's a the revenant, there's a the revenant, keep it fire that. And I keep killing, 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 kill it. In the face, in the face. And then I'll, oh, it's enough to get my rage going with the wolves. Come on, where's the wolves? Where's the wolves? Oh, I don't get rage, I don't get rage, I get rage over here. Where is everything? So the, the tassel worm is over there, and then the wolves over here. work so they died at pretty much the same place so any loot that I need is probably right over here rage oh no rage okay there we go so if I understand it correctly, there's freaking five enemies right now. That last one is pretty impossible. So, next up, I think we need to prioritize the tassel worms. The news spawn over here. Nope, I can't block anymore. For fuck's sake. So the that's the worms first. Completed it. What the hell does that mean? Oh no, fuck off. I did it. Damn it. Yeah, that means I have to start that over again. Ah. This is 
the, the best we're gonna get it. There we go. Hey, Fuck you. In the face. Yes! Okay, that took me forever. And to be entirely honest, that was also the first time I actually tried to use the freaking wolves at the end with the wolves. Oh my god, that was difficult. Well, not the first two phases, but that last phase was incredibly, incredibly hard. Wolves are such bullshit creatures in this game. But, treasure, this better be good. This better be good. I'm trying this for around an hour now. Um, um, yeah, this is gonna be a long episode. Smoldering embers, I still don't know what the hell I can do with Another that. Gate opened up. Okay, well, I guess we just better check that out then. Oh my god, this is just gonna lead to another trials area, isn't it? This, this is gonna just lead to another trials area. Um, uh, hmm. I mean, so it's a cool realm. Lives here. Do they? We should explore further. Yeah, there might be something at the end here, but I'm guessing we're just facing trial after trial. Since the quest is called the Trials of Muspelheim. Muspelheim, Muspelheim, sorry. Does that explode? Yeah. Let's just go further, because indeed it doesn't look like there's anybody living here. And there's another... Yeah. There's the next sword. So that means there's just more trials. There's another sword. Um, hmm. This must be the next challenge. If this also starts with an easier one, I might as well just try it. Survive for five minutes. Here they come. Okay. Normal. Yeah, I already survived for five minutes. I just juggle this guy. I think it's probably best to kill as many enemies as possible, as quickly as possible. I'm just gonna leave the wolf over there, because he's like a real moron. I think I... yeah, the wolf is back. One wolf down. I hate wolves. I hate wolves. I freaking hate the wolves. So, I'll still. You get stuff if you kill enemies, which is still good. One of those guys really was erecting. Okay. Okay, I just need to survive though. Although that might actually mean I'm just gonna die in a second. Yeah, okay. Projectiles are pretty pretty powerful, but I hmm. I was only two minutes <laughs> minutes gone there, god damn it. So this arena is a bit harder to navigate Here because there's a, a lava right. pit in the middle. Um, and I feel like this is also just a matter of killing enemies as quickly as you can. I was aiming at his feet, by the way. Just trying to kill as many as possible, just as quickly as possible. This guy explode as well. That was not what I anticipated. Wolf in the back. Wolf in the back. Can 
Can I kill some into the... No. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Stage of the fight. Let's just take care of these guys first. I think I can actually push these into yeah, the lava pit. The those projectiles come from. No, indeed, I don't. Um. Yes, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Kind of okay. No fucking crash. 16 seconds. Oh, 
No, 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 stay here. Just gonna turtle up, just gonna turtle up, fuck off. Yes! We won. Oh my god. Oh my god, that took me almost two and a half hours. Holy crap, that was difficult. That was... <laughs> I'm probably under level to do this, but holy shit, I didn't want to stop it just there. Yup. We just finished the this this trial. The oh yeah, chest. Almost forgot about my reward. I I still don't know what you can do with those blazing thingies. Let's let's open that up. Probably more blazing stuff. Oh my! Ooh. That was incredibly testing. Whew! I'm gonna need a break after this. Um, but first. I think I'm gonna to end the episode. It's probably gonna be another sword now, yeah, for the harder difficulties. I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm clearly under leveled for these uh, these challenges, so I'm gonna head back to the entrance, go and have a little chat with Brock. Maybe he can tell us what we can do with those blazes. So, Brock, Let's tell me, what can we even do with that? Oh, wow. Well, that was definitely worth it. Holy crap. That is awesome. Epic body armor. And I just spend all my resources on, on the, 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 the titan thing. Um, but fuck that. So we have the choice between the breastplate of fallen ash. Which has a moderate perk activation chance to inflict concussive burn damage to nearby enemies when damage is taken. Equip the complete Fallen Ash set to increase the chance. Or, Blazing Magma Pauldrons, moderate perk activation chance to create a fiery shield that inflicts burn damage to enemies and prevents interruption by attacks when damage is taken. Equip the complete Blazing Magma set. Smoldering Brimstone Pauldron. Chance to grant an aura of fire, increasing strength and restoring a smaller amount of health when damage is taken. So it's all when damage is taken, which is really cool. So it's all about what effect I want on it and maybe how it looks, because look at that. I mean, functionally, I would go for the smoldering brimstone pauldron, but I don't think that it looks as cool as, for example, this thing. To inflict concussive burn damage to nearby enemies when damage is taken. So we just kind of explode when we get hit. So the same for the gauntlets, which have the same kind of effects. And they need 18 smoldering embers. And the waste armor also needs 18. So instead of going with the body armor, I think I should actually go with the waist armor and wrist armor. You know what? They say the chances increase when you equip the entire set. But what about if you start mixing? So if I now, for example, make the magma war belt, because it's just an awesome Be too item. Now. Look at that. Let's equip that. Then we have the wrist armor. So we took the blazing magma, but if we then take these gauntlets to give the aura of fire, and then the body armor when we get enough smoldering embers to get the body armor, that would be really nice. So let's craft this. And equip that. And then we just need to upgrade those. If at all possible. So we need crests and more smoldering embers to upgrade it. Okay, so it might not actually be stronger than what I have at the moment. 
Could have gone with a uh, grip as well, but I don't think. Wrath of Flame. On any successful hit, greatly increases strength, restores a small amount of health, and fires a wave of energy on normal attacks. Okay, that's also really cool. And it looks amazing. But I'm not gonna do that just... Yeah, I can't do it anyway, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. So, we'll definitely go back to Muspelheim to try out a few other things. But that is just awesome. Yes, that worked out. I'm just gonna play around a bit to see what fits best. So yeah, this is gonna be me. So we, I kept the blazing gauntlets uh, and then the ancient stuff on the rest because my tier gauntlets don't have a, have a chance actually, even though they, I don't think they're upgraded either way. But uh, yeah, th this setup is a bit better because my waste armor from the ancients actually allows for three uh, enchantment slots. So that's gonna be better like this. So yeah, very, very tough challenges in Muspelheim. But uh, we at least, well, achieved three of them already, which got us a bit of uh, new gear. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a little break because I really, really need it right now. But uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. And when we get back, we'll probably go and pay the witch a visit finally. So thank you guys enormously for watching. See you guys next time on God of War. Goodbye.